Hi and welcome to my guide. Today we will be completing the quest Fremenic Isles. The quest requirement is Fremenic Trials and the stat requirements are 20 construction as well as 40 agility. Now having 40 prayer might also be helpful for during the boss fight. I just needed a single raw tuna, 8 ropes and depending on your mining level you will also need to bring along 8 tin if your mining level is between 1 and 9. If it is between level 10 and 54 you will need to bring along 7 coal and if it is 55 plus 6 mithril ore. Now it might be helpful to know that you are able to buy the coal as well as the tin ore during the quest but the mithril ore cannot be bought. Then also a nade is not shield or if you're not able to buy it from another player or you would like to complete the hard diary task that requires to make one you will need 56 woodcutting as well as a bronze nail any kind of axe and an extra rope then also eight split locks if you're unable to buy this you will need to have once again 56 woodcutting as well as an axe and also some yak armor the body as well as the legs. If you're unable to buy this, you will need to bring along a weapon to kill three yaks as well as having 46 crafting. For the recommended items, one stamina potion should be enough with some weight reducing clothing, then also some food, armor, weapon and potions to kill 10 trolls of around combat 80 as well as the boss of combat 122 who is basically immune to both magic and ranged. But you will need to kill these trolls as well as the boss only at the end of the quest. My armor and weapon is currently in the bank. But what I do suggest you to bring along is some food because we will be passing some ice trolls and having a minimum of 4 empty inventory slots. But having 10 would actually be much better. For teleports, one back to Nadis Knot after the boss fight would be faster, so I will be using a scroll of redirection, and then maybe one teleport after the quest is completed. So where to start this quest is here on the most northern dock of Releka. Here you should see the quest sign as well as a transportation sign. Here you should see Maria as well as Maud. Talk to Maud and select option 3. To travel to Yatitso. You should also start a quest, maybe. Well, on Yatitso, we will need to talk to the king. So, let's head into town. And inside of Yatitso, all the buildings have a plain floor pattern. Except for the building where the king is in. That floor looks like a checkerboard. Go inside and talk to the king. Once the conversation is over, use a raw tuna on the cat called HRH Hoffren. Next, continue your conversation with the king and next he will ask you for some ore. You can always check your quest log what he is asking for and just simply use the noted ore or unnoted on the king to provide it to him. If you haven't brought your tin or your coal, simply go to the building just west with the anvil sign and you're able to buy it from that guy for like 50 GP or so. Once the conversation is over, behind the throne you should find a chest. Open it and then select option 1 3 times to get all 4 the jester pieces. Next, let's run south and let's return to the docks. Let's right click on Mord and quick travel to Releka. Once you've made it back to Raleka, let's right click on Maria Gunners and let's travel to Nadisnat. Next, let's follow the path into the town. The first building you should see is the general store as well as the bank. 
Behind it, you should find a jester with a broken arm. Let's equip our four jester pieces and talk to Slug. Uh, Northern name and select option 4 1. After speaking to him, we will need to enter the building south of the general store bank. There, we should find an NPC called Maunis. After selecting option 1, let's go enter the building south of the bank. Be sure that you are empty handed before talking to Mauis. Simply read what Mauis is saying above his head and then follow the commands using the gesture controls. Alright, once you've done this like six, seven, eight times, skip through the dialogue and let's return to Slug. Select option 1, 3, 2, 1. After speaking to Slug, let's return to Mavis. Be sure that you unequip at least one piece of Jester outfit and talk to him. Now Mavis is requesting you to get some supplies, which are 8 split logs as well as 8 ropes. So simply go to the bank and unnote these. I don't have enough inventory space. Well, that's annoying, isn't it? Alright, let's go to the bank and deposit our Jester outfit, I guess. We don't need it at this very moment, so let's unequip our stuff. And let's bring the split locks as well as the ropes to Maui's. But if you weren't able to buy split locks from the Grand Exchange or some other player, let's go into the Yak field with your axe. Go to the banks and here you should find some arctic pines. Cut down 8 logs from this arctic pine. Once you got 8, let's return to the town. And just east of the bank, there should find a geyser. Next to the geyser, you should find 2 woodcutting stumps. Click on it and then select the second option, which should be the split log option. Once you split 8 arctic logs, let's return to Maui's to provide him the ropes as well as the 8 split logs. Alright, once the conversation is over, southwest in the building in a the corner they should find Thakrat. Talk to him and he will teach you how to repair bridges. Once we've done that, once this conversation is over, let's exit the building and go inside of the bank general store and let's trade Jovnir. Trade her and buy one knife for 4 GP, for 6 GP. Next, we will be passing some ice trolls, so if you want to be extra safe, bring some food as well as some armor. And once you think you are prepared, let's go northwest, exiting the town and run north 
west. Towards the first bridge. That one we do not need to fix, so simply cross it. Simply click on like the very first lock of the bridge. Then go a bit north. Right click on that bridge and repair. Once this bridge is fixed, let's walk across it. And then let's follow the path east. Maybe use like protect from a ranged or melee or something. Maybe use protect from melee if you want to. Follow the path east to the next bridge that you will need to repair. You could turn on protect from missiles if you're scared on being stacked out by rock throwing trolls, but I don't really see any, so I don't really think you will be stacked out during the reparation animation. Right, I'm gonna be using Predator Family and let's walk across the bridge to return back to Nadis Nat. Just go a bit southwest, cross the second bridge and return into town and let's talk to Mavis. Mavis, hello. After the conversation is over, we will need to make our way to Yetiso. To be able to get back there, let's return to the dock, let's travel to Relaka, and let's make more tickets to that island. Once you've made it back to Jatitso town, let's talk to the king. Next, we will need to act as a tax collector. So after this conversation is over, enter the building just southwest. If you've bought your tin or your coal, it is the exact building the one with the anvil and the armor sign. Let's talk to Rom Erdestein, the guy, the archer, and select 8000 as well as 1. Next, across the street, enter that building and talk to Skuli. Enter 6000 and then select option 1. Next, go in the building just north of the checkerboard king's building and let's talk to Van Liga. Enter 5000 and then select option 1. Next, the building just east. Let's talk to the cook, Kipa, and enter as well 5000 and select option 1. Next, let's return to the king and they will say that this is not enough and they will impose an extra tax. So, let's return to the smithing sign and let's talk to Rome Erdestein once again. Select option 1.
Then in the same building, let's talk to Ring Ring and select option one. Next, in the building just north across the street, let's talk to Scully, select option one. Next, let's return to the cook Keeper in the fishing store and let's talk to both those NPCs inside of that building, Keeper and Flossy. Select option one. By the way, these taxes were apparently actual taxes back in the 17th century in England. Right, this is now enough money. Let's return this money sack or uh, tax back to the king. They will have enough and I will need to return to Nadis Nat. So let's do so. Once you've made it back to Nadis Nut, let's go to the bank and grab that banked Chester outfit. Next, go back behind the bank, equip your four Chester pieces, and let's talk to Slug. Where is he? Oh. After speaking to him, let's return to Maunis. Once again, be sure that you are empty-handed and let's play as a jester once more. All right, once you've done six or seven more commands, let's return to Slug to report what uh, they have said. Select option one, two, one, three. Select option one, two, one, and then three. Next, we'll need to return to Yatitsu once more to talk to the king and get a royal decree. Once we get our hands on the royal decree, we'll need to make our way back to Nadis Nat. Jatitso, Yetitso. King, royal decree, please. King, royal decree, please. Royal decree, please. 
Hello, King. Royal the creep. The creep. The, the creep. Hello, King. Royal the creep, please. Royal the creep, please. Once you've made it back to Yatitsu, let's talk to Maui's to deliver this royal decree. By the way, before talking to Maui's, be sure that you are not equipping all four of the chess pieces. Just unequip any of them and you should be fine. Once you've delivered the royal decree, the next part depends if you've already bought your Nadis Nut Shield as well as your Yak Top and Bottoms. The timestamp will currently be on the screen. So for those who have not bought these items, let's go into the bank general store and let's trade Jovrindir. Let's buy a hammer, two thread and one needle. Next, let's go back to the yak field, bring your weapon and kill three yaks for their hides. Or if there is someone killing them, simply pick up the yak hides that they are keeping on the ground. Once you have three yak hides, let's cut down two logs of the arctic pine tree. Once you have the two logs as well as the three yak hides, let's return to the building with uh, Mavis. And in the southwestern corner, they should find Thakrat. Right click and craft goods. This should cost you 15 GP. Yes, select option one, twice. Then let's use a needle on the yak height, the cured one. Be sure to select one, legs, and then one body. Once you have this, let's talk to Mavis, because you have gotten your yak armor. Next they will teach you how to make the Nadis Nut Shield. This will require you to have one bronze nail, a rope, and two arctic pines. If you already bought this, you can skip this part. Let's go back to the woodcutting stump, just north of the Giza. Let's cut it. Select the Fremric round shield. And then let's talk to Mavis once again. And now the only thing that we'll need to do is do the boss fight. So let's go back to the bank. And we don't really need anything in our inventory anymore, so I'm just gonna be depositing everything. As well as my worn items, gonna deposit everything as well. What you do need to bring along is, of course, your Nadis Nut Shield and your Yak Armor. Be sure to equip that right now. Besides from that, you can choose to wear whatever. But the boss is immune to magic as well as ranged. Also, the 10 trolls of around Comet 80 should also have a massive ranged defense. So let's grab one stamina potion to get to that cave. And besides from that, bring along some food, armor, weapon and potions to kill 10 trolls of around Comet 80 in multi-combat area. As well as a boss who is basically immune to ranged and magic. Now be warned that the boss fight is instanced, so as of the making of this video, Dying in an instance still means that you will lose everything. Alright, that must do. Besides from that, food, I guess, one prayer potion because you will be getting three for free anyway. So, yeah. Alright, once you are prepared for the boss fight, let's exit Nadis Nut. And let's follow the path eastward, north of the town. Let's walk across the eastern bridge. Maybe use protect from melee and cross the second bridge going north. The one that you have repaired. Next, continue running north. 
Keep going north until you see a T-junction. At that T-junction, go east until you see a dungeon sign. Yeah, protect from melee is a lot better, it seems, than protect from missiles. All right, here at the dungeon sign, let's open a cave to start the cutscene as well as the instanced area. First, what we'll need to do is kill 10 trolls. You can simply deal damage to 10 trolls and let the natives not do the rest. But to speed things up, I'll be dealing as much damage as I can. You will get a message in your chat box once you've reached 10 KC. If you want to know how many you've already killed, you can also simply check your quest log. Or just wait until the message pops up in your chat box. Right, it seems that I'm running out of prayer points faster than I first thought. So, let's go back to the entrance if you want to get three free prayer potions. Let's talk to Borg. And select the second option if you would like three prayer potions. Now, if you talk to Borg, he will also be able to supply you with like three regular strength potions as well as ten tuna. But I don't think I will need that tuna. Alright, I've defeated enough trolls, I didn't even uh, see the message in my chat box. So, let's go back to Borg, get some extra food maybe, because now it is time for the boss fight. One, 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 give me the tuna. Right, once you think you are ready, let's use protect from ranged, or protect from missiles, run southwest and cross the bridge. Be sure that you have protect from missiles turned on before walking across the bridge. If you don't have 40 prayer, then be sure to heal up before doing so. Here is the boss fight. Simply stand next to him while using protect from missiles or protect from magic if your magic level is actually pretty low. Besides from that, nothing too difficult. Just be sure that you do not use protect from melee, else you will be his plaything and you will be thrown all around the room.
Alrighty, once you've defeated the Ice Troll King, let's decapitate it and make our way back to Mewis to complete our quest. If you've not brought along... Oh, son of a bitch, I didn't bring along my Fremenic teleport. No, no. Right, simply teleport to Relaka and make your way back to Nadus not by traveling with Maria. That should be the fastest way. If you did not bring along any teleports to get out of here, simply walk across the eastern bridge and you will need to pass a couple of trolls on the way back to Nadus Nat. Use protect for missiles or protect for melee and follow the path to the exit. Climb up the stone ladder, go east, take the first path going south and then simply run back to Nadis Nat that way. So once you've returned to Nadis Nat, let's talk to Mavis to complete our quest. And congratulations, you have completed Fremenic Isle's quest. You are awarded with one quest point, 5,000 construction and crafting experience, 10,000 woodcutting experience, two times 10,000 experience that you're able to put in either attack, strength, defense or hit point XP, a free Helm of Nadis Nut. By the way, if you do not own any Helms of Nadis Nut later on, you can always make your way back to Nadis Nut and buy one from Mavis for 50,000 GP. Also access to Nadis Nut and Yatitso, as well as their resources, which there are quite a few of, which there are quite a few of, but most noticeably is a Runite Rock as well as a pair of Jester Boots, which does have plus 5 magical defense bonus. Same goes for all the other Jester pieces, but for a pair of boots to give plus 5 magic defense bonus, that is quite good. And also you've completed a quest requirement for the Fremnic Exiles quest. Not really sure about the put it on, I still need 65 defense for King Ransom quest, so I'll be putting it on the fence. Alright, that was my quest guide, how to complete Fremlick Isles quest. Hopefully it has helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye. Ooh, nice amount of levels. Still can't wear the helm though. Whatever. Okay, thanks, bye.